What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike Sasser, boudoir photographer in Los Angeles, California. And I hope you are excited to watch me go through and delete like all of my old pictures. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks and hints into how you can create a really powerful online gallery for your potential clients. But before we get to that, I wanna take a moment and flip through some of my absolute favorite pictures from 2017. When I started getting really serious about this channel, I knew that I wanted it to be different than a lot of the other photography channels out there. A lot of people really only show you the exciting stuff, the dream, like this shoot that I had recently. We shot at this insane house up in the Hollywood Hills. Beautiful house, beautiful girl, perfect setting. And while I know that gets tons of clicks, that doesn't really tell the whole story. It wasn't my photo shoot, I was basically an assistant on the shoot doing some behind the scenes video. So I wanna make sure that I'm mixing in some of the things that are really gonna help you out with your business in with some of the fun, exciting stuff. But right now I'm gonna bring you in on my actual business. Now I never thought I'd bring you this into my business. So starting at the beginning of last year, I decided that I wanted to delete all of my old pictures from the previous year. In the beginning of 2018, I used only pictures from 2017. And now that we're going into 2019, I'm going to delete all of those pictures from 2017 and earlier. <sighs> Let's hit that delete button. So I've got to uh, delete all of my pictures from this slideshow and from my portfolio. So I use Squarespace. So this video totally isn't sponsored. I've been using Squarespace for like seven years now. Uh, if they do wanna send me some money, I'm not gonna be mad about it. I'm going to edit, and then I'm going to edit the gallery. So these are my current images. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all the ones from last year. Delete, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so crazy, just getting rid of all of these pictures. I haven't done a major site update like this in a year. I don't have any more pictures in my portfolio. So how, uh, how long do you think I should leave it like this? Do you think I'll, I'll get any inquiries from people considering a boudoir experience without seeing any pictures? Should I leave it empty just to stand out in this industry? Actually, I'm getting kind of nervous. Let's, let's go ahead and add some pictures in there. So if I already know that all of my pictures from last year worked and they're booking me shoots and they're the clients that I want and I'm making the sales that I want, why go through and delete all of those pictures and start new? Well, I'm taking inspiration from George Carlin, who was one of the most successful and famous comedians of the last century. Every year he would throw out all of his old jokes and come up with completely new ones for a new hour of comedy to present to the world. This forced him to grow and to dig deeper. You know, we as photographers can't assume that we took a couple of good pictures a couple of years ago and that is gonna carry us through our entire career. Now, before I drop all these in, I want you guys to know that these are not models. These are all actual clients, everyday women who have paid their $500 shoot fee, not including the photos that they end up purchasing afterwards. Quick little side note, I think when you're first starting, it's a good idea to use models, they're more likely to allow you to share the pictures. Then as you continue to grow your business and photograph actual clients, you can start to replace those model pictures with your real clients. I've already gone through and pre-selected the images I'm going to be using for my portfolio this year. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag them and drop them here into the gallery. So let's get to rearranging some pictures. So I wanna pick a main image that's gonna that's gonna really catch people's eye. I love this image. So I'm just gonna go up to the top and drop. There we go. We rearranging. Already we're rearranging. Let's do maybe one where you can see somebody's face. They can connect with you. Okay, I'm just gonna go through and rearrange these real quick. apply save all right you guys we got ourselves a whole new website i just have to go in and change those opening slideshow images as well and we will be set so how do you get your portfolio into a place that you really love 
Well, I've got three main tips. The first is that you have consistency in your editing. When someone comes to your website, they wanna know pretty much exactly what they're going to receive. If you've got some pictures that are edited really bright and some that are edited really, really dark, some that are really, really blue, some that are really, really warm, some that are using this preset, some that are using this preset, they won't really know what to expect when they come in. You know, like, are they gonna get chocolate or are they gonna get vanilla? Are they gonna get a steak or are they gonna get a salad? Chipotle only does one thing and when people go to Chipotle, they know exactly what they're getting and they chose it for that reason. Now the second tip may sound like it's the opposite and, and that is to make sure you have variety in your portfolio. What I mean when I say variety is that you're capable of shooting different kinds of photos. So what I see in a lot of portfolios is sometimes only photos that are dark and don't really show anybody's face, which can be great. But if you have photos that are too similar over and over and over and over again, clients will assume that you may not be able to photograph someone like them or they may not be able to find very many pictures that they like because all of them look identical. So while I think your editing should be relatively similar, I think you should still have a variety in poses and body types, you know, outfits, things like that so that they can start to imagine themselves in these different scenarios. And the third tip is to only show your best work. If you have 50 photos that you like, but 20 photos that you love, only put in the 20 photos. My portfolio has around 30 images in it. The homepage has about 10 images in it. And it was hard to get it down to that. If you wanna share more pictures, I would put those in a blog where they can then go click away from and scroll down and see more of your work if they really want to. Okay, so tell me, is this something that you guys would ever do? Go through and delete all of your older pictures and only keep the ones most recently, maybe within a year. You know, if you're really crazy within six months, let me know if I'm crazy in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video, you guys, and I will see you when I make another, you know, YouTube video. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of how I think it works. Okay, tip number one. If I was starting from the very, very, very beginning, what would be my first step? Actually, it would be, then you're just gonna shoulder shrug to me just a little bit. And then when you do it, instead of going in this way, you're gonna go in this way, exactly.